Get over here, Lisa. Come on, Mike. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah. Get you going in the morning. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You know, I'm going to recommend you guys work a box step in there. One of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah. D, 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 work, and then we'll have a practice later on. Yeah. Thank you for with, Karen. The, the Jock Snappers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <The Jack Snappers. laughs> Very good. Number six, having trouble in the love department. Think back to the good times. It turns out nostalgia is good for you. Oh. Some relationship scientists say that remembering your first date or your first kiss can balance out those little frustrations. Yeah. So the next time <laughs> that your partner forgets to do the dishes mm -hmm. or leaves their socks on the floor or, you know, Anything else that bothers right. you, go back to one of your favorite moments together. It helps to remember why you fell in love in the Aww. first place. And it puts the little things into context. Doesn't always work. No. no. Worth yeah. trying. It yeah. sounds like some optimistic person, you know, who's well, trying to shine things up. Maybe you, know? you need to get Kirsten and go sit on the side of a mountain yeah. and watch the yeah. sunrise yeah. like that well, couple. I would, but she'd push me off. That's the problem. I've got to learn. you got to uh, stay away from ledges yeah. now and sharp objects. Oh, okay. Oh. Could you imagine Kirsten? Yeah. She's I can. That's it's so funny. She's gotten smart. You know That's been the problem. Yeah. Well, good. Number five, take a look at these uh, art installations in Japan. The exhibit is called Frozen Flowers and was created by famed botanical artist Azuma Makoto. Oh, yeah, he's the great. The best. How? He put together bunches of floral arrangements and poured water on top of them and let the whole thing freeze over. Each bloom is trapped in time and covered in icicles. That's pretty cool. They're on display in the middle of a cold peninsula, but once the weather yeah. changes and yeah. things get really warm, they'll wilt and wither away, much like beauty itself. Yeah, yeah. Frosty the snowman right there. Yeah. 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 Life lesson mm -hmm. all of this. All right, number four, let's talk about the revenge dress. Oh, my this Lord, This is inspired yes. by Ariana Maddox of Vanderpump Rules. Sure. Now, I have told you this story, haven't I? Yeah. Ariana found out that her boyfriend of nine years, Tom, yeah. who she was living with, yeah. cheated with one of her friends on the show, Raquel. That's awful. So Ariana went to a wedding in Mexico, and she was photographed having the time of her life, and she looked stunning, took mm. this picture in this beautiful dress. This was her picture on her return to Instagram, yes. first post after everyone found out sure. about the affair. Sure. Yeah. It sent a message. I'm strong. I'm yeah. better than you. I look darn good doing it. Yeah. The dress itself now can be purchased only $650. Wow. $650. If it'll do what? for you what it did for her. Yeah. Oddly enough, it's also available at Envy, which is owned by Real Housewife of New Jersey, Melissa Gorga. Mm. That's awesome. It's all mm. staying in the Bravo family there. Mm -hmm. Ah, good for her. Yeah. Mm. All right, number three. This one's for the fellas. Uh, go out right now and get yourself a pair of Doc Martin mules. They're the three C's. They're cozy, they're comfortable, and they're cool. You just slip them on and you go. Oh. They're serving biker meets hippie vibes, and uh, they're sturdy. You can scuff them up, you can get them dirty because they're made to last. I've got a few uh, TikTok tutorials on what types of outfits you should <laughs> wear with them. You can follow me at Polly Boys New Doc. That's all one word. I drop a video every day uh, this week at a 7 11 Northwestern time. So all go right. cats. We'll see you then. Good. <laughs> Uh, number two, let's take a trip back in time with a visit to the Lunchbox Museum. It's in Columbus, Georgia, and it's filled with 3,000 old school lunchboxes. From strawberry shortcake to Star Trek, Charlie's Angels to Pac-Man, this place has it all. They have uh, plastic lunchboxes with matching thermoses and metal lunchboxes with those latches. Reminds us of the good old days when kids lugged those giant food suitcases to school and they were filled with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Capri Suns, bags of chips, and some sort of fruit. Get that. Mm -hmm. All right, number one, bachelorette parties are more expensive than ever before. According to a recent study, the average price for a bachelorette party is, wait for it now, $10,800. Oh, average? What? Well, here's why. It's not just a night out anymore. It's a weekend away yeah. to Vegas yes. or Nashville. Yes. It includes all sorts of over-the-top experiences like riding mechanical bulls, oh, cool. yeah. yoga, pontoon boats, high-end yeah. dinners. Because these days, people don't just want a party. They want an experience. 
Here's my advice. If you have a friend who's spending that much on a bachelorette party, yeah. wait until her second one at about 45 years yeah. old, yeah. which yeah. would just be the three remaining friends yeah. she has yeah. in a dinner someplace nice. Yeah. Well, as the problem is, when you're getting married the first time, you're usually in your late 20s, early 20s. No one has the kind of money to be getting the plane ticket. Yeah, I right mean, right. like it's like the destination wedding, but you're doing it for right. the bachelorette. Then you got to yeah. set everything up for the bride. Then you got to get all the favors. Then you got to do all this, plan the dinner. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. That's well, a lot to ask it people. It is a lot to ask. I mean, just go out to dinner. Yeah. Right. I don't um, get it. Sometimes you can't put a price on a mechanical bull. You know, <laughs> sometimes true. just the memories you can have around yeah, that yeah. That's true. are worth five, ten yeah. grand. It's a, it's a metaphor for marriage. You yeah. gotta prepare, you gotta yeah. practice. Hold on tight, yeah, because yeah. you're gonna get thrown around a lot. All right. All right, there that's you are. Six and you're six. very welcome. You can cancel your therapy appointment today. We got you covered. <laughs>